Ali was playing with his friends in the park an hour before sunset when he got bitten by a mosquito. That's common to have a mosquito bite, but this one was carrying a virus. Four days later, <clears throat> Ali developed high fever and complaints of pain in his eyes, severe headache, and body aches. His concerned mother immediately took him to the doctor and asked, Doctor, why is my son sick? Is it dengue? Dengue is a common problem in many parts of the world. This virus is more common in regions with warm and tropical climates. Prevention of dengue depends on avoiding mosquito bites that carry this virus and controlling their population. It is important for us to know what the symptoms of dengue, how it is treated, and how we can protect ourselves. Let's ask Dr. Smart about it. Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. A from Smart Clinic. Today, let's talk about dengue fever. Dr. A, what is dengue fever? How does it spread? And what are its symptoms? Dengue fever can become a serious illness. It is caused by a virus that spreads from a bite of an infected mosquito. It's important to know that dengue is not contagious and does not spread from one person to another person through contact. But if an infected person is bitten by a mosquito, then that mosquito can infect the next person. Symptoms of dengue usually appear 4 to 7 days after the mosquito bite. Symptoms of dengue may be mild or severe. The most common symptom of dengue is high fever. You may also have pain in the eyes, headache, nausea or vomiting, rash, joint pain, and body aches. These symptoms usually last for one week and then start going away. Many other infections can also have symptoms similar to these, like malaria, COVID, or other infections. At times, people infected with dengue may not develop any symptoms at all and may not even know that they got infected. In some cases, dengue can cause serious problems. The blood can become thin with a high chance of bleeding. This happens when the number of platelets in the blood become very low. You may notice bleeding from the gums after brushing teeth, bleeding from the nose, or a skin rash with small red spots. If you have bleeding in the gut, then you may also have bloody vomiting, blood in the stool, or black colored stool. In some cases, a severe infection can result in very low blood pressures. It can damage different organs and cause even death. Medical care and close monitoring is needed in such cases. Severe dengue is more commonly seen in infants, pregnant women, and those who have had a dengue infection before. Dr. A, how is dengue fever diagnosed and treated? Many other diseases and infections can have similar symptoms as dengue. Dengue should be suspected if you have a sudden onset of high fever as high as 102 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit and any of the symptoms that I had mentioned before. To check if it is dengue, we do a blood test for dengue antigen and antibody. We also check the levels of platelets. If the levels are very low, you may need a blood transfusion for platelets. If the condition remains mild, then dengue can be managed at home. For body aches and fever, use 1-2 to two tablets of Panadol or Tylenol every 6 hours. You can also use wet cloths and sponges to reduce the high fever. Make sure to get rest and drink fluids to stay hydrated. Try to avoid using medicines like aspirin, ibuprofen, and other non-steroidal pain medicines as they can also increase the risk of bleeding. Since dengue is caused by a virus, antibiotics which fight against bacteria are not helpful in dengue treatment. If you have any danger signs of dengue fever, like severe pain in the abdomen, persistent vomiting, confusion, drowsiness, fainting, cold skin, bleeding in the skin, nosebleeds, bleeding from the gums, and dark stools, then seek medical care as soon as possible. Do not delay going to the hospital as the condition may worsen quickly. Dr. A, where does this mosquito live and how can we prevent and protect ourselves from dengue? The mosquito that causes dengue mostly rests indoor, in dark places, and in cool and shaded places outdoors. Dengue mosquito breed and lays eggs in open storage water containers. To prevent the mosquitoes from increasing in number, drain out the water from such containers. In case it is not possible to drain the water, then use insecticides to kill the larvae of the mosquito. 
be careful about trash that can collect water, such as bottles, containers, plastic bags, tins and tires. These special mosquitoes usually bite during the daytime, and they are especially active about two hours after sunrise and before sunset. Wear full sleeves clothes and long dresses to cover as much of your body as possible. Use mosquito repellents, mosquito coils, and electric vapor mats. If you are sleeping or sitting outside, use mosquito nets to stay safe. Nets that are treated with insecticides are even more effective. These precautions can also prevent other diseases that spread by mosquitoes such as malaria. If we all work together, we can reduce the burden of dengue in our communities. Did you know platelets are tiny cells in our blood that help stop bleeding when there is an injury? Every day, our bone marrow makes 100 billion new platelets. That's a million platelets every second. Platelets only live for 7 to 10 days. That means when you donate platelets, your donation must be transfused within 5 days. Also, when you donate platelets, your body immediately begins making new platelets faster, and you are back to the previous levels in 3 days. How amazing is that? That's another reason to be grateful for our gifted body.